Hi folks, today I want to let you know about a new course that we just launched on our website. Um, so if you go to opensourceoptions.com and go to courses, you'll be able to see the new Python QGIS course we've just launched. So you can see Python QGIS here, PyQGIS automate GIS tasks with the Python, with the QGIS Python API. You can also go to the courses here, and that'll bring up the course list. And you can click on this course here to uh, register for it and to see the sample lessons. Um, now I just want to let you know this course has over 8.5 hours of video instruction and it has all the code and data you need to conduct all the exercises. You can check out the sample lessons here to see what's included and you can watch this video to see a little more of a sneak peek of what's going on. This course has 65 lessons and in each lesson to get a video that explains a concept and you will get the code that goes along with the video so you can have this code and this video as your resources. You'll also have all the data you need to complete these courses. Now I want to show you a little bit in QGIS of what we cover in this course. So you can see I have some layers added here and all these layers we've created in the course using Python or QG, Python with QGIS. So we can create points, we can create lines, we can create polygons and we can add those and remove those from the interface just as we would by clicking. Now all this power comes by clicking on plugins and going to the Python console and here we can write code or create and run scripts in Python that allow us to automate a lot of different processes. We can even automate functions that are available in QGIS from the processing toolbox. We can take all these tools and use them with Python. Now I'll give you an example of how we can use Python to access attribute information. So first, let's go to plugins and let's open the Python console. Now I'm gonna go over to the course and I'm in the get attribute, get feature attribute values lesson. Now this code is available to all of you. This is a sample lesson so you can check this out for free. And I'm gonna copy this data, or this code, sorry, not the data. Now this data, this file here, this uh, vector layer is available with the full version of the course. And if you have the course and you download this, you'll be able to copy and run this code. You'll just need to change this path, okay? We're gonna print out the full name and RTTPY features for this layer. So let's go back to QGIS. I'm just gonna paste that code in here. I have this file on my computer at this location. And when I click run, for each feature, it's going to print things out over in the console here. So I'll make this a little bigger so you can see what's going on. So let's click run. And you can see here it's printing out the features for each, for all those features in this file. And it's going to hang up here for a minute while it finishes doing that. But as you can see, this gives you a ton of power to automate processes, automate workflows, and automate analyses with QGIS you'll find this course very valuable um, and I hope you enjoy it. So remember to check out opensourceoptions.com and go to courses to see this course and other available courses. If you want $5 off, you can subscribe. And if you go to opensourceoptions.com and scroll down once you get there to subscribe or click the pop up, when you subscribe to our newsletter, you will get a $5 off coupon um, to use on any of our courses. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you find this course useful. Um, I spent a lot of time putting this together, and I feel like for $40, it's a bargain of a price. Like I said, you get almost nine hours of video instruction, um, and I plan to add more to this course in the future.